So, last time we left off defeating Maleficent. Today, let's go in here and defeat Maleficent again. We will see about that in a second. Do you need some help? Riku! A what? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! I just did some adjusting to my microphone. I, I hope I don't forget to filter out all the noise and well not actually filter it out but more like just completely mute that part and also this Ooh, this one has uh, the, the, the uh, vibration function. I'm using a different controller because if you remember the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble with my controller being like, yeah, your battery is gonna go and die on you any second now. And I had to stop recording. And apparently that same battery has not recharged one bit. Apparently it doesn't recharge when your PlayStation 3 is not turned on. Did not know that fact. I mean, USB loaders normally work when your PC is not turned on because hell it does have uh, electricity running through it, so yeah. I figured PlayStation, probably the same. Apparently it isn't. Apparently you need to have it turned on in order for it to actually charge. So that controller is charging now and I'm using a different one. God, God thank I actually have a different one. Having two controllers isn't really about playing with friends, it's more like, yeah, just in case anything ever fucks up with one uh, controller. Did I call it a recorder? I think I did. Yeah, you still have a backup. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Also, this boss isn't due to hard. The real hard boss is gonna be in a second. And I'll have you guys guess what it is. I mean, if you can't think of it, it's... I mean, it's pretty obvious. Just gonna point that out. It's pretty fucking obvious what it is. Or rather who it is, but yeah. I think you guys probably should know by now. And if you don't, I don't remember if I did, but I think I wasn't surprised when I first saw it. You will see in a second. I mean, I'll probably try and attempt to kill him. I mean, defeat him uh, this episode. And I'm just giving it away, calling it him and stuff, and yeah. But honestly, I also call this dragon him. Okay, it's Riku. I mean, are you really surprised? Are you? As a kid, I found a way to glitch out this battle where Maleficent could not hit you, not even with a fire attack. Don't quite remember how it works anymore, but it's got something to do with standing on these roots, but it might not actually work in the Final Mix version. Because I never played Final Mix! That's why I never defeated the uh, Ansem, uh, not Ansem, Xamnas boss fights. Because I never played Final Mix. Because I don't live in Japan! And I don't think the PS2 was region locked actually, but even then, I don't order my game from Japan. Because I don't speak Japanese and I didn't really see the point in buying a fucking game for one boss fight and like two Keyblades. Yeah. Didn't order Final Mix 2 either. I did play it though. Wait a second. No, no, no. PS2 is region locked. It is because I can't play Retrain of Memories on my PS2. I have actually never played that game. I bought it from America and I couldn't fucking play it. So yes, it is region locked. And after this let's play, I'm going to be let's playing Rechain of Memories in HD, which has been included in this wonderful HD remake. And that'll be the first time I actually play Rechain of Memories. I mean, I've completed the original Chain of Memories a couple times, like twice, I think. Maybe three times, I'm not entirely sure. But 
this will be the first time I play Remake for longer than like 10 minutes because I played it on an emulator and it just wouldn't work out. It would keep crashing and then I then I bought the disc and then I figured, well, I don't want to play this game anyways. I really did, but my computer couldn't really handle playing a PS2 emulator for too, too long. It didn't help, I wanted to run it at 1080p. Gotta admit that. I probably should have run it at like 480p. Oh damn it, oh damn it, oh damn it, I am so dead. I am not, I am a hero. A mega potion, yeah, mega potion. You guys, kill her. Kill. Fucking kill her. Yeah. You can glide if you want, but you just have to kill her. She's dragon type. She should be... Do we have a fairy? Come on, do we have a... Oh yeah, actually we do. We do have a fairy, but I can't summon her. Damn it. Well, it's a pixie, not really a fairy. But, yeah. By the time this goes up, Pokemon X and Well have already been released, and I probably would have completed it by now. I think I like it. This this is recorded like October 7th. Yeah, 7th. And this is going up on, I don't know, way later than that. I think somewhere around... I'm not gonna say anything because I, I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna be wrong. I think it's gonna be October like 18th. But it's probably gonna be later because I still have to upload the four videos I did yesterday. And then this will be episode like 39. I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. But after Pokemon X and Y have been released. That much for sure. How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Yeah. Attend Fire Glow. Oh, that's that is summon Mushu. Yeah, you can summon Mushu. If you go back with the Fire Glow to uh I think it's like Fairy Godmother or something. And you get Mushu as a summon. Not gonna use it, but you can get it. So, from here on out, it's pretty easy to get to the next part of the game. The actual boss fight coming up is one of... No, it's actually the hardest boss fight in the story. Not the hardest boss fight in the game, because the secret bosses are a little harder. I wouldn't know how hard Xamnas is. Because I've never actually fought him. Because I never owned or played Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. But I imagine he isn't that easy. But this fight is the hardest fight in the story. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie, Kyrie's inside me. I know all that there is to know. Tell me, who are you? 
It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. Yeah, this fight is a one-on-one -on -one fight. So, I shall release you now, Princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness! Olympias actually says Hercules on it, which is interesting. Okay, this fight is amazing, and the music is such... Ugh. I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit and play the music louder. Yeah, that music was amazing, wasn't it? Okay, so that fucked me over. That attack? If he starts doing that, you're fucked. So, yeah. Okay, the next attempt I'm gonna be talking over, no loud music, no whatever. I just wanted you guys to appreciate that amazing piece of music. So, what was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, the keyblade he's using. Uh, I have a theory about that. Uh, which is totally ridiculous because the theory I'm about to uh, tell you guys is... Oh no, that's gonna be next episode, isn't it? Wow. Okay. No, it isn't. So, the theory I am about to tell you guys has to do with them thinking about what they were going to do in Birth by Sleep from this game on. Which is not happening. Just no. But, oh, that's, damn it, good. So, I think this was intended to be, spoilers by the way, I think this Keyblade was intended to be part of the Kai Blade, or the Axe Blade, how, or just the Keyblade, however you like to call it. Uh, that would mean they had to come up with the whole idea of the Axe Blade by, like, 10 years before they actually used it in their story. I doubt it. But they could fit it in within the lore. Because it's a dark keyblade made with uh, seven pure hearts of light. I mean, that would fit into the lore. Honestly, I'm doing a massive amount of damage against him. 
He's also doing a massive amount of damage against me, so we're equal. At the end of the day, these are two equal rivals with some dark powers on Riku's sides. But I, I've got some light powers, I suppose. No, I really don't. I'm, I'm just a pushover who has a Keyblade. I mean, the Keyblade, the Keyblade wasn't even a, uh, uh, originally supposed to be Sora's, but Riku's. Like, Riku stated, and it was just like... The first time you hear that in, uh, in this game, it's like, yeah, Riku, you're just a, a asshole, but it's actually the case. I know I'm telling a lot of spoilers in this fight, but it's actually the case. The Riku was intended. The Riku now, the Keyblade was intended for Riku and not for Sora. Also, I'm almost done with him and he hasn't done his Dark Aura attack. Yet. Uh, I think he's gonna do it any minute now, if I'm being unlucky. Yep, there he goes and he won't stop the first like 10 hours now. Because it, once he does this, you are absolutely screwed. The, the more he does it, the more he will do it. That's how it works. Most annoying mechanic ever. If he does it twice, the chance he will do it becomes bigger. If he does it another time, two level ups. Wow. If he does it one more time, the chance will get even bigger and bigger and bigger every time he does it. And at some point, he's just not gonna stop doing it. That's how annoying this fight is. And I also learned Ragnarok, which is amazing, but I'm not gonna be using it because it costs, like, all of your MP.